Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm super excited because I am finally doing it. it. Took me forever, but I finally am doing my favorite brushes video. Oh, I'm so excited. So today I'm gonna share with you all of my favorite brushes. These are all of my favorite face brushes. If you guys wanna hang tight, I will be doing all of my favorite eye brushes that'll be coming next i do have a lot here so since i do have a lot of brushes i have a lot you guys i have a lot of brush favorites to share with you today so i will put the list in the description box so definitely check that out and also everything of course is cruelty free i only use synthetic brushes so without further ado grab a drink grab a snack this is probably going to be a long one let's get into this video Really quickly, I wanted to give a shout out to the AOA Plush Beauty Sponge because this is my absolute favorite way to apply um, concealer and foundation. It's just super, super squishy. Mine is dirty because I did use it today, but I mostly apply foundation with a sponge, but if I'm not using a sponge, I will definitely reach for these. So my absolute favorite, if I only had to pick one foundation brush, it's definitely the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. This is just amazing. I've had these brushes for years and years and years, I can use this with any sort of, like whether it's a matte finish, a dewy finish foundation, this just applies and blends and buffs so flawlessly. I just love the outcome every single time. I will always, always reach for this brush. And then my second favorite is definitely the e.l.f. Cosmetics Ultimate Blending Brush. I have a lot of beach cosmetics and e.l.f. Cosmetics brushes, so you're going to see a lot of... <laughs> A lot of brands that I use on the regular. Um, again, this just has a really nice dome, round shaped kind of like kabuki brush. And this is just fantastic. Again, really gives you full coverage. Really, really super soft. Love this one. I also would recommend these ones from the AOA Studio line. This brush set is amazing. It's a 10 piece set, but you could also buy these in duos. And these two are my favorite front for foundation, the F4 and also the F3. But these are just amazing. They blend foundation so, so nicely. And I just, I can't get over the quality. Like I've had minimal shedding with these. They're so good. So let's move on to concealer brushes, and these ones right here are definitely the ones I love. I also like to use this one here, which is the BH Cosmetics 129 brush. This is my new favorite brush for applying my eyeshadow primer. It's just great, it's small, it's dense, and it also blends out concealer really nicely as well. The e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, again, this is great for concealer. This is only $3, and this is just awesome. You can really buff and blend the concealer down onto like your cheekbones so you don't have that harsh line and it just blends concealer like a dream and then this one as well i love from beach cosmetics and the 128 this is really beautiful it's it's really fluffy too and i feel like it just buffs and blends really really nicely concealer around your nose around your mouth i mean it's just amazing and then of course these ones are also from that same brush set from the AOA Studio line. These ones again, really awesome. I use them to blend out concealer. I have the E103 and the 104. So you can tell that all these brushes are fairly similar in size and shape, but they all do a really great job at blending out product. So I almost forgot about this little guy because he was hiding amongst all the huge piles over here with all the brushes. This is also from Elf Cosmetics. This is the cute little blending brush. This little guy is perfect for traveling and I wasn't sure what category to put this in because I have used this for foundation. It's not my absolute favorite, but this is great for cream bronzer, cream contour. You can flip it on the side and use the tip for cream blush or even cream highlight. So it's a multi-purpose brush, really budget friendly. And this guy is just so cute and he really does blend the cream products out really nicely. All right guys, moved on to powder brushes. I love a good powder brush. As of right now, Holy Grail, one of my favorites is the AOA Studio F12. This is a large, fluffy setting brush. Oh, oh my God. These brushes are so soft. I think this is hands down one of my favorite powder brushes. I don't know, there's just something about applying makeup, especially powder products. I don't know, I just, I really enjoy it. So this one is definitely one of my favorites. This one is old school. This is the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. 
This is one of my favorites. I use this for everything. I actually really like this for bronzer. I sometimes use it for blush. The shape is just really different. It's not super, super fluffy, but it has almost like a flatness to it. You see how it's kind of like flat this way and wide this way? It's just so soft, you guys. I have like five of these. I kid you not, it's $3, it's amazing. I've been using these for years and it's just one of my absolute favorite powder brushes. And I have to give a quick mention to these, of course, from the Sculpt set from BH Cosmetics. I have the 124, which is a really great rounded um, powder brush. It fits really nicely actually underneath the eyes. Now, if I want more full coverage with my powders and if I want, you know, just a little extra something, something, I've been really loving the 123 and I just love this it's a flat top but it also packs on that powder so if you want more full coverage I will reach for this one and then if I'm feeling really extra like I, I want to be a little bit fancier <laughs> I want something that's really big and bold and beautiful I love the real techniques I think this is just called the powder brush she is big and charged ready to take over the world hands down best brushes I've ever tried from the drugstore, although I haven't tried all of them, but they're cruelty-free, synthetic. Uh, you do pay a little bit more than like e.l.f., but oh my god, so worth it. The quality is just amazing. Like, they really hold up. I've had this for years, and it's just, it's just a great brush. It's so soft and fluffy. I just want to, it's like a little bunny tail. I just want to keep fluffing it. <laughs> fluffy. So since we talked about the larger face powder brushes, I wanted to also mention these two little guys here. These are my go-to for setting my concealer underneath my eyes. So if I'm not using a sponge, I don't always use a sponge with powder because sometimes I end up putting too much on and it looks like a cakey mess. But these are amazing. So I have the small tapered brush and also the blush brush. I actually don't like using this for blush. It's okay, but it's so flat that I just, I don't like it for blush. But this is perfect because it is so flat and tapered at the top. It fits so perfectly underneath the eye area to set it with powder. I love the e.l.f. brushes and these are just so soft and they're really gentle around the eye area as well. So these make really great under eye setting brushes. I thought I would also mention the F11 also from the AOA line. I love this fan brush. It's so big, it's so fluffy, and I mainly use this to dust off any fallout that might fall on my face. You most likely won't see this in a tutorial because it's just something I do off camera, just like kind of dusting away any fallout, or if I put like loose powder here and I put too much, I can just buff this, fluff it away. It's just so fluffy, I love it. <laughs> So when it comes to bronzer brushes and blush brushes, I am extremely picky and I've noticed that over the years or just this past year, I like a particular shape and style of brush. I like something that's really fluffy, but not too long, not too short, just somewhere in between. Right now, this is my only favorite bronzer brush. It's the F20 from the AOA Studio line. It's so perfect. She is just so fluffy. And it's the perfect size, it's not too big, and it just, it applies bronzer like a dream. Like, I have tried so many other brushes over the years, and this is just my favorite bronzer brush. I just, I just want to keep putting on bronzer just to feel how soft this brush is against my face. Alright, let's talk about contouring. I love a good contour brush. I have so many contour brushes, it's insane. And I sort of switch back and forth between... A lot of these brushes but if I had to pick one just for powder contour the real techniques contour brush you guys it's I every time I go back to this or I use something else and then I take a break and I come back and I'm like what the heck am I doing why did I quit using this because it's perfect she is perfection just the shape there's just something special about this brush it fits perfectly in the hollow right underneath your cheekbone and when you go like this to blend out contour, it's perfect every time. I swear to you, it's perfect every time. Love this brush. Now I have a lot of these angled brushes. I have a ton. This is probably one of my fav new favorites. This is the F14 and I really like this one because it's super, again, so fluffy. 
I'm gonna probably say fluffy a million times in this video so just prepare yourself so this is really nice and airy and soft and I can just easily sweep underneath my cheekbones so I kind of switch between this I occasionally will use this if I'm in a hurry for bronzer and contour. I'll go in with my bronzer really quickly, I'll dip into my contour powder really quickly and just go boom boom and then I'm done. So I really like this for just a quick soft application of bronzer or contour. This is also from BH Cosmetics, the 126. Both of these are again fantastic for contour because of the shape. So this one for BH is really nice. It's pinched at the middle here by the ferrule and it kind of like blooms and fluffs out at the top. I just really like this one. I don't always use it, but it does work really nicely. I do have to be careful because this one will pick up a lot of pigment, but again, it just blends out powder products so beautifully on the face and then also the elf mineral powder brush this is very similar to the real techniques one but this one is a little bit it's more rounder at the top and the real techniques one is more like tapered it's more softer this one is just like boom it poofs up it goes straight up and then it kind of has a dome shape at the top um, but they both do the same thing. If I had to choose, I would go with the Real Techniques one. But this is only $3, and it can actually do pretty much the same thing. And it just it blends, and again, it's super soft, really easy to just blend out that contour. It just looks so chiseled, and it's just, it's really good. Now, on the rare occasion that I use a cream contour, I will reach for this brush. This is a new favorite, but it's amazing. I've washed it several times now. And you guys know how much I love these brushes. This is the from the white 10-piece uh, brush set from the AOA line. This is the F9 brush. And this is amazing for cream contour and cream bronzer, but definitely for cream contour. It has this really cool like scoop to it. So it kind of like just sits and it hugs your cheekbone so perfectly. I don't always cream contour, but when I do, I would definitely reach for this one. So when it comes to blush, I definitely really struggle with finding like my absolute, absolute favorite. So right now, currently, these two are my absolute favorite for blush. You probably have seen me use these a lot in like tutorials or just like get ready with me's. But definitely my favorite blush brush is the F13. I love this because, again, it's really small. It's super fluffy. I love the shape and the size. It just fits perfectly right here. See that? It's not too big for my face and I can easily apply my blush really lightly and I definitely think I like this shape of brush for blush. That is a tongue twister. I've also been using this one a lot. This is the 125 from BH Cosmetics. This one is really, I don't know, I wasn't expecting to like this for blush but again it has a really nice shape to it. It's more rounded and tapered it just applies it really softly and I feel like I get a really nice application now I like to use these two brushes this one is the large stippling brush from elf and this is the little one so the larger one I like to use with a really dark blush so when I want to use those I will use this brush because it's a dual fiber brush it's really airy and soft it's not going to pick up too much product so I can easily just dust on a really dark color and make it work for me and then if I'm going to use any sort of cream blush, I really love this guy here because it's beautiful. Again, dual fiber brushes are really great with cream products and it's also synthetic so it's not going to absorb too much into the bristles. But I definitely like this to just stipple on a little cream blush and blend it out and I really like it. <laughs> Alright guys, we are almost through, I promise. So moving on to highlighter brushes, I have three favorites. I can't be without it. This is the F19 highlighter brush. It's the perfect shape. It's really soft. It's tapered, but I love it. So I can easily apply the highlighter exactly where I want to. It's small enough to where I can highlight my nose, my cupid's bow, even like above or underneath the brow. It's just the perfect size. I can't tell you how much I love this brush. So another one that I also like but I don't reach for as much is the e.l.f. highlighting brush. This is definitely a lot larger. It's very fluffy. It's really really big. Like this is humongous. I think it's a little too big for highlighter but it is another one of my favorites. So I try to just apply the highlighter to the tip of the brush and it really does blend out the highlighter really really nicely. So I tend to use this with highlighters I know 
are not too pigmented or too intense so I can easily buff and blend. This is a great buffing brush. And then if I want a really soft highlighted look and if I'm using a highlighter that's extremely pigmented and I don't want to go overboard, I will use the E106. And this again is a dual fiber brush. I wish this was tapered like the one from BH Cosmetics, like this one here but it's the closest dupe that I've been trying to find because you guys know how much I love these BH dual fiber brushes. They're so, so freaking good. It, it does a nice light sort of soft focus application and it you can't like really go wrong or overdo it with this brush. I really love these Kabuki brushes. So these are my two favorite Kabuki brushes for powder. I mostly use them for just like powder like to powder my face. I've also used these with powder foundations and they work really great for buffing as well. So I have the one from e.l.f. Cosmetics and also from Wet n Wild. Both are amazing, both are affordable and cruelty free and they're both so flipping soft. The one from Wet n Wild is not as dense as the e.l.f. one. The e.l.f. one is really, really dense. Like look how thick she is, so thick. They're just so soft. I just love how they feel. They're so soft on the skin. All right, guys, and then the final brush. This is the last one. Oh my gosh, we've come to the end of this video. So this is also from e.l.f. This is the ultimate kabuki brush. I've had this one for a very long time. Now, I usually only pull this one out in the summertime when I want to bronze up my chest, girlfriend. I want to pull that bronzer down the neck, down the shoulders. This is amazing for the body. This is awesome and it's super affordable so if you don't want to spend a lot of money on something like that, girlfriend, you need to get this ASAP. Woo! We made it to the end, you guys. We did it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my favorite face brushes, blush, bronzer, foundation. If you are new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. I put new videos up every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday. For a list of all the brushes that I mentioned in this video, check out the description box. Hang tight, the eye brushes will be coming next, and once that video is up, I will link it below as well. I will see you in the next one, guys. Remember, Smarter Beauty is better beauty. Bye. <laughs>